guys! I did not plan to make dinner at all tonight, but I was watching Food Wishes and Chef John... Well, actually it's an old episode. Chef John was making roast chicken in honor of Julia Child. So I looked through the fridge and I happen to have pretty much all the ingredients that I need. So I've decided to make some. And since you guys gave me really good feedback on the East Epic video, I thought I would show you guys how I make this. I don't have a whole chicken because I didn't plan to make this dinner. So I had some chicken thighs and legs and all that stuff and it works just fine because you're going to cut it all up anyway. So, alright, here we go. I have a Pyrex tray right here and I'm just going to take some onions that are roughly chopped. Big chunks, big chunks. I'm just going to layer that at the bottom. These are all leftover ingredients and they work just fine. Put that down there. And then I have some crushed garlic. They're not peeled or sliced. I just smashed them a little bit. And I'm just gonna toss that everywhere. Gives it a give me flavor. I also have some baby carrots. I thought I might as well throw it in there. Cause it'll be good. chicken right on top of all of those. So you got a thigh, drumstick, thigh, whoop, gotta scooch a little bit to make it all fit, and drumstick. Now, with all of that there, I'm gonna take a whole lemon and just squeeze that on top, all over. And I'm just actually going to leave the lemon in there. Oh, before all this, I preheated the oven to 400 degrees. I'm just guessing that's the kind of temperature I'm going to need. Because I guess about everything. <laughs> Get some kosher salt. I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. And again, I have to say this in every video, just in case uh, some of you are new. These are coarse, so they're bigger chunks. And I'm not over salting. It just looks like it is because... They're huge. That's what she said. And I have some pepper. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And then I'm going to put some rosemary. I, if I had fresh ones, I would use them, but I don't. So dried ones work just fine. Rosemary. And thyme. Again, if I had fresh ones, I would use those instead. Sprinkle that all over. And I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of oil on top. I also have some butter right here, which I should have taken out, but it's okay. I'm just going to lay that on top of the chicken and just leave it there. The butter will melt and caramelize so that the chicken skin will be brown later on. Just put thin slices on top of those and that should be fine. You can just leave it that way. I think everything's set and I can just show you guys real quick what that looks like. I didn't touch the chicken so don't worry, my hands are clean. Looks beautiful, huh? Now I'm just going to toss that in the oven. While that's baking, I'm going to make potatoes the same way that I made the breakfast. Uh, I would normally use red skin potatoes for these, but I don't have it. Like I said, this dinner wasn't planned, so I'm just going to use the potatoes that I have in the pantry. Okay, so I have three medium-sized potatoes right here, and it's cut into big, big chunks, and I'm just boiling it for six to ten minutes. And you want to use a fork to poke it and make sure that the fork just goes in nicely and don't overboil it and make it mushy because then it'll be hard to 
brown it later on. It'll be all mashed potato status, and that's not what you want. Mashed potatoes are good, but that's not what we're going for, so gotta keep an eye on your potatoes. I have two minutes and 45 seconds left, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna poke it with a fork, and I'll look for one first. Okay, one in there. Yes! Clean, clean, clean. All right, so let's pick a potato. You there. No, not quite yet. I had to push really, really hard for that fork to go through. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> okay, enough messing around. Uh, it has two more minutes left, and I think by then it'll be perfect. Because I'm still going to cook this later on and brown it and all that stuff. Alright, so I've drained the potatoes, and I'm just going to put some olive oil all over that. And some butter. I always put them together. Okay. Just clump that on top. Yeah. Put some salt. Pepper. Thyme and rosemary. I'm pretty much putting the same spices that I put on the chicken. And the reason why I only put a little bit on the chicken is because I'm putting a little bit on the potatoes too and I don't want it to be overwhelming. So that looks pretty good, just like that by itself. And the reason why we didn't cook the potatoes all the way while boiling it is because we need it to be this. And if we overcooked it, then this part is when it starts to be mushy. So it's still pretty hard, the potatoes. <laughs> I'm so tempted. I will not say it. Can't help it. That's what she said. There you go. I did it. Are you happy? Let's give it a good mix so that we get all that spices to coat Ooh, skin coming off there. Very gently. I should probably use tongs, but I use it for the chicken and I haven't washed it, so just leave it like that. Okay? I'm just gonna let that sit air so that one side of it browns and then we'll come back later on and do some gentle tossing again. Meanwhile we are going to check on our chicken, see how it's doing. Oh that smells so good! I've always been angry when I watch like cooking shows because I can never taste what they're making and it looks so good and it tastes so good. But then I figured if I just make the food and film it, I can make you guys feel it too. It's kind of me, huh? But that's what it looks like so far. Ooh, it looks delicious. We have a little bit more time to go. So I'm just gonna let that do its trick. Oh, it's sliding all the way back. There we go. So you guys are probably gonna hate me now too because I'm doing to you what I've hated for a long time. Watching other people cook and then not getting to eat it. But it's really easy guys, so you guys should do it yourselves. It's really, really, really simple and easy. It looks good. And it looks difficult to make when you see the finished product, but really it's pretty easy. Okay, so our potatoes are crying. <laughs> this is what happens when you're not careful. Doot. Doot. Ah, it hurts so bad. Hey, when guys laugh at girls for complaining that it hurts when you break a nail, it really does hurt. And it pulls it the opposite direction and it just snaps. It doesn't feel good. It's not funny. Well, he doesn't laugh at me, but I know some of you do. And just letting you know, it hurts. It hurts. Alright, so that's what it looks like now. Some parts of it are getting brown. And um, I just got an idea. Since this pan is oven safe, I'm just going to transfer the chicken into the bottom rack and put this on top and put it on boil for just a little bit. Now, when you put something on broil and it's that close to the heat, you gotta keep an eye on it because it can turn from perfect to burnt in like a second. You can't snap really, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna do that right now. Alright, so that's what it looks like. We have our delicious chicken at the bottom that's almost ready and the potatoes are on top. And I'm just gonna put that on broil for a few minutes, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it just so that I can have the top brown. Yep. I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out on the... On the You're not going to miss out. I'm just going to put a I just need a little bit. Put, put the can now. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. 
He drinks chicken broth. You guys know that. Don't open the can because you're going to drink it all and I'm, I'm not, not going to use it. Promise. Promise I won't drink it. Okay? Okay. You're going to see that, okay? That actually means a lot to us. But you look at that mischievous smile. <laughs> okay. He buys his own chicken broth to drink because okay, he doesn't really like the way this tastes when you drink it. And I just thought, hey, since not since that's not a whole chicken, it's going to be a little bit drier because it's not going to be as juicy as a whole chicken. So I think I'm going to pour just a little bit of chicken broth on top just to keep it moist. And I grabbed the box expecting it to be really heavy. <laughs> I said that three times on this. See, you're already drinking it. Ugh. Tastes horrible. Yeah, but you'll end up drinking all of it anyway. Right, there you go. You're mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I grabbed the box expecting it to be a lot heavier and like there's hardly anything in there anymore. But the good news is I only need a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to pull the bottom rack down. Out, I mean. And see, it's a little bit, there's a little bit of liquids right there. But it's not quite as much as I expected it to be. Because it's not a whole chicken. So I'm just going to put a little bit of chicken broth. Just a little bit to keep everything. See, that was literally just a few tablespoons. See my potatoes? The heat's coming from up there now, so the potatoes look really, really, really good now. And the chicken's almost ready. Just pour a little bit of that. I guess I do need a lot from the can. Just a little bit. There, that's enough. That's quite enough. Alright, potatoes, chicken, go back inside. I don't know what this looks like yet, because it's hard to tell. I'm just more minutes. Okay, just leave it there. And then afterwards, when the potatoes are ready, I'm just going to take it out the oven and let it, the chicken broil so that it browns on top too. But just for a little bit. I don't want to overcook any of them. Okay. It's a, it's a good way for me to just sit here and, s I mean, well, stand here and remind you guys so that I can remember too, because sometimes I forget. Yes, I get distracted by YouTube, and I ended up watching, like, vlogs and forget about what I'm cooking. Yeah, not so much fun. <laughs> okay. So, I'll give it about three more minutes, maybe. We'll see. Maybe that's too much. I, like, open the oven to check every 30 seconds or so to make sure I don't burn anything. Okay? It pays off, guys. It does. Delicious dinner. It's definitely worth all the trouble. Yes. It's not even trouble, because I'm having fun cooking, so, alrighty. There she is. Still sizzling. You see some brown spots? Looks really, really good, and I think it's just the right. Oh, yeah. It's perfect. Not too mushy, but it's, see that? It's soft enough to eat. And since I broiled it, and since the pan distributes heat pretty well, the bottom, can you see that? A bit got brown too. Put this one. Ooh, it looks delicious. See? Alright, that's pretty much done. I'll just leave that there and let it cool down a little bit while the chicken is going. It's almost done. Almost, almost done. It's almost time to poke it. Just let that, that brown a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm going to try one more time. Our first attempt was a fail, but let's see what happens. I poke you now. Come on. Give it a little squeeze, and it's clear. Next chicken, just poke you. See what happens. Come out clear. Juice. Yeah, it's pretty clear. Yay! And these? No question about it. They would be ready. They're so much simpler. But yeah, it looks like our food's ready. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one. Right there. Take some of these, because they will be so delicious. Some of the onions. I'm probably not gonna eat the butter, but I mean the garlic, but I'm just gonna put some of that there. Because it looks super good. And then, potatoes right there. <laughs> that looks super good. 
And while that's there, I could probably use a salad for this too, but I think I'll eat it that way. Because I'm impatient right now. I'm super hungry. And I don't want to wait. Okay, I'm looking for a spoon. Okay, found this, we'll use it. <laughs> and I'll just spoon over some stuff. Awesome looking juice. Mmm, it's gonna taste so good. You guys can have bread with this if you want. Some toasted bread, or you can even put some rice on the side. I'm just gonna eat it that way, because it looks good that way. And of course you can add as many vegetables as you want. That's just what I happen to have today. Uh, you can also make a salad on the side, but I think I'm good. Yep. I shall have a thigh. You want a thigh? Okay, that's cool. Which one do you want? I don't know. I don't know. Pick one. That one. You want the bigger one? Alright, cool. That's my plate right there. Let me just take this off. Mm-hmm. It is super delicious. Okay. Well, I can plate it for you. <laughs> Such a brat. <laughs> you see that? Did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> she just did a flip. I flip you. <laughs> okay, I'm holding this, and I'm holding this, so I gotta go set it down somewhere. Can you help me by taking the pieces? Or my plate, whichever. Okay. okay. Thank you, my love. <laughs> All right, that's his awesome plate. And I totally left the lemon in there so you can squeeze it over if you want to. See all the yummy juice just... Mm, okay, sorry guys, I can't talk anymore. I have to eat. Bye, have a good evening.